Muses, regresé con un nuevo video. Today's video is another Gaté Mi Cuarto series, and this time I spent some coins on the new foundation. Well, I don't know if it's a new foundation, but the new, this like foundation called The Ordinary. Hold on. What's it called? The Ordinary. So we're gonna be trying The Ordinary foundation, and I wanna know if it's ordinary, if it's ordinary, but apparently this Ordinary foundation is full coverage. Isn't it like gluten free and all this stuff too? Okay, I've, it seems like healthy foundation. Like if if you were vegan, I think it's also vegan. I don't know. I didn't do my research because I shop like the regular girl who just sees stuff and I'm like, okay, thank you. But I have seen like other people use this foundation, but I don't know like what's in it. Pero mira, yo gasté mi cuarto. Before anything, like this video if you're excited about another foundation, menos de 10 dólares. So another foundation, we're going to be reviewing another foundation that's less than $10. So like the video if you're excited about that because we might be, we might be finding something else, you guys. We might be having a collection of $6 foundations. Dale ese like, gracias. Hit the bell for, you know, notifications or whatever. And vamos a comenzar. So off the back, when I found these foundations, I went to Ricky's. They're both priced at $6.90. So the full coverage one was more expensive than the other one. I don't remember what the other one was. Off the back, you guys, there was no, like, range. It went from boop to boop. I was like, oh, this doesn't look like it's good. All right, you know what's sad? Because esto dice aquí... Que este color is for red undertones. Y después este dice that it's for dark yellow undertones. So yo creo que yo soy los dos. I think I'm both. So let's do a quick swatch. I'm taking right now 3.2R. Okay, look at that. Oh, that looks pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Well, that. Yo no creo que se ve mal. Mira. That might be good for the manchas. Interesting. Okay, then we're going to take 3.1, 3.1 wide. Okay. The ordinary, the ordinary colors. Did you not see my girl Rivi come out with a whole 40 um, foundation shades? I'm not going to come for you yet because this really might be a really good foundation. So, let's see if these pieces hit. Vamos a rezar, Dios, por favor, que trabaje esta base por menos de 10 dólares because la Navidad está around the corner and I don't want to spend more money on All right, so vamos a ver. My face is already moisturized. I don't know what to do first. What should I do first? Okay, I'm just gonna... Hold on. It looks oscuro. You see? I like it because como me quito la mancha... with the lightest one first, right? All right. Okay. Oh, I messed it up. Loki, Loki? It's not that bad, but it's too watery. This is like light to medium full coverage. Yo, you guys, I didn't realize how yellow I am. Oh my gosh, this is making me feel so insecure. Oh my god. This is making me feel really insecure by my skin. Wow. Me veo fea. I look ugly. No shade, no shade. I'm sorry, but this foundation for me, all I see is all my blackheads that I'm about to pop later. About to pop all these blackheads. You have no idea. Like, I can't even put the darkest shade because the darkest shade is too dark. Even dark. Because then people are gonna be like, "Oh, you made yourself look bad." I'm trying. That's for my own queens. Wait, I kind of fixed it. I think the red kind of helped it out a little bit, but my skin looks gross. Go to the green. What you guys think? So I'm gonna let it like soak into the skin. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna see, you know, what she really trying to give because. Give me a second. I want to see if she's good for real. I'm taking the Kiss Professional eyebrow pencil. 
Okay. Okay. Las cejas parecen un toyo. Okay. All right. Brows. Not so good right now, but it's okay. We're going to fix them. We're going to fix them. I'm going to take a little bit of my shape tape. And I think I got the wrong shades, you guys. I ain't even going to Okay. I got tan. I think I'm supposed to get sand. I don't know. I'm just going to apply a little bit. I don't know. I think I got the wrong shade. <laughs> But the beauty about makeup, you just can figure it out, you know, you can like do it all together. Which I think. Talk to me while this is happening because I can't really tell. But you know que se ve malo, pero tampoco no es como gran cosa. Tú me entiendes? Like it's not like wow, but like you know how we did other foundations for six dollars and I was like like I still use that foundation. I'm not really sure. I don't know, I'm not really sure. Let's finish the look and, th and then we'll see. I'm gonna contour a little bit, black opal. Okay. So far, when I use my cream contour for the face, she's kinda good. Did I get my neck right off? Cause you know I'll be forgetting my neck. Baking time! Or like I like to say, it's time para hacer un toyo, okay? Porque that's the only thing that this does for me, besides snatch me up. Me hace un toyo. this morphe palette and it's the ow my press-ons this is the always golden n8 i'm just gonna go on top wanna be on top foundation i'm keeping an eye on you too like don't think i forgot about you because i'm gonna see how you last all day well not all day i'm gonna test you out for a couple hours oh this foundation this this brush the m m511 you know how before I used to be like, you don't really need a, a, a eyebrow. What's this called? What's this called? This is my eye. An eyeshadow. <laughs> when you don't need an eyeshadow brush. I lied, you guys. Um, Eyeshadow brushes really do be making your eyeshadow look a little different. Like, you know, I'm sorry. Perdóneme, por favor. Eh, esta brocha me encanta. Thank you, Morphe. Ooh. <laughs> You see, when you go, when you look down, right, and then you look up, and you be like, I see you, sis. Ain't a game. I get the new juego. All right, sis. Okay, let's just go smoke out the under eye. So then I'm taking surprise right here, this color. I'm going to take surprise, and I'm, I've been putting it on my eyes. Conchale. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of a liner. And this is what I like to call my lazy cat eye. You just be like, it's not even called a cat eye, it's called a cat. Cause you don't even do the wing. Cause you don't wanna risk ruining this eye look. Like I'm not doing that. I'm gonna take my black radiant and I'm just gonna Mm. You see what a nose does to your face? Push those up. Push it up like a push a bra. Okay? Push those lashes up like a push. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. This is one of my favorite blush palettes. This is the Morphe N N 9N. Come on, it. 9N. Yes, yes. 9N. This one right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's take her. We're just going to be like, cheese. You know, that's what I tell everybody. Cheese. You just want to see a little bit of like flesh coming through. You want to look healthy. Welcome me paso. Give me paso. All right. You want to hear a little trick I do? Okay. So if you feel like you put a lot of blush on, this is what I do, right? I take a little bit of my favorite white concealer, white translucent powder. You have to say I'm a Derma Blend loose powder. Y cojo un poquito, ¿verdad? Un poquito. Cojo un poquitico. Y después tú lo pones. You see, like, there's, like, this, like, little white space. And we just, like, press it into the skin. 
So it like brightens and it also kind of eliminates you from looking too like blushy. So this is the final look. I'm gonna wait a couple of hours, maybe like two to three hours. Y te voy a dejar saber cómo, tú sabes, cómo se mantenió esta base. Um, first impressions off the back. Me, me encanta el precio. I think for six, what I spent? Six, six seventy or something like that? Six ninety. I think price point is cute. The price point is amazing. For my girls who have problematic skin, like if you have como, like, bumps and you have acne prone skin like me, like, especially when I'm about to get my friend, this foundation might not be the one I run to because it, it requires a lot of, like, and I don't mind beating my face, but I don't like beating my face and still not seeing the difference. You know what I mean? See it? This is very minimal, full coverage. Yo creo que me la cubrió las manchas. Yes. But it's because it's so lightweight. I feel like because I have oily combination skin, it's going to break out throughout the day. And I don't really know. No sé. No sé. Dame. Dame banda. Okay. So we're going to wait right now. Que hora Ultra media, so it's 8.30 right now, and I'm going to come back maybe around, like, I don't know, 10 o'clock, and then we talk about it then, like, we'll see what it, lo what it looks like, and you guys can tell me for yourself, but I feel cute because I have eye makeup and everything, but I feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like my skin looks, it looks, it looks okay, like, it looks good. It did its job. Full coverage, it did its job. Porque me puse como una dos, como tres capas de la base. But I feel like, like, I thought that the other one was more yellow, but and I thought this was going to be too red, but it kind of worked for me, ¿verdad? Como yo me la puse, yo, no se me veía rara. Yo, pero me puse la que era de amarillo para piel oscura. I put the yellow undertone one with dark undertones. And that was so yellow. I think I would use this, you know what I would use these for? Like drops, like you know how they have the cover effects custom cover drops, like drops. These would be cute if they were drops. What y'all think, right? Like, Mary, I think that's a good idea for you guys. I don't know how I feel about like this bottle looks more. This bottle looks really red, but I thought it looked okay. I don't know. My skin complexion is so weird. Like I'm so yellow, but I have red, like moments. Like there's red moments on my skin. But I'm going to talk to you guys in a few minutes, and I'm in a few hours, and we'll really see if this foundation is worth $6. Well, I spent 12 because I thought this was going to be red. So one told me that something was off with my makeup, and I was really starting to feel myself. I was over here like maybe I was a little too harsh on the makeup, on the foundation. But it me dijo que yo me veía, what was the word? Dusty. He said I look dusty. He said I look grainy. Do I look grainy on camera? I think I look cute. No. Oh, dang. Really? No, I really do feel like I look a little weird. Like, it doesn't look like... Like, it's not like the, like the other stuff you use. It's like more illuminated. Uh, like, I feel like, like it this... It looks like skin. But this, this looks, looks like, like my real... Though. No, this... This looks like my skin... Like, this is enhancing how bad my skin mm -hmm. is. You know, like, and I, whatever bad means to you, because then you're going to drag me and be like, your skin ain't bad. No, 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 seriously. Like, it makes my pores look larger. Y no me gusta. Like, I feel like if Juan, if I hugged you with this face, <laughs> my whole face is coming off. It's apparently it's like vegan free, gluten free. It? It's all free. Well, de verdad, como no me siento linda, no me siento, me siento fea. I feel ugly. I feel like you guys can see everything I've been trying to like hide. I, I, I was trying to catfish the world and with this makeup, it's like, girl, humble yourself. This is what your skin really looks like. You know, it's like when you look at yourself and then you go and somebody takes a picture of you and you're like, ah, this is what I feel like I really look like. So it's almost midnight and I've had this on since what, 8.30? So it's around 12 o'clock midnight and everything is creasing everything my blush looks like it was a cream blush it's cracking right here look at this hold on so yeah you guys i just look a hot mess what i've never seen my zit. like i know i have zits you know i don't need a foundation to 
tell me what I already know about myself, you know? The point of foundation is to make me feel like a brand new person. Like, I want to see myself and be like, ah, blue skin, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to look at myself and then a couple hours later be like, wow, it's not real. This, this face is just grasa. Like, I look like a grease ball and it's starting to break. I've never seen the foundation break apart. Like, what's up? Why are you breaking up with my, my skin? Like what my skin did to you? Foundation? I also want to clarify that yo compré, la base que yo compré, that wasn't the full, that wasn't the darkest shade. The darkest shade is actually 3.3N, then it's 3.2R. So my shade, the one that I got at the store at Ricky's, which was the only shade that I found, was the second to darkest. But there's only three dark shades. Am I gonna say nothing about that? I'm gonna leave it up to you all. Um, pero si, esa era la única tres. Solamente hay tres bases oscuras. Y la única que yo encontré fue 3.2R. And that one, y esa fue la que yo no creo, yo creo que cuando me la, me la mezclé con la amarillo, como se me puso un ching mejor, pero de verdad... For say 70 con tax 690, I just listen. I get it, you know, like for six dollars, I look a mess. I feel like my skin is looking so bad. Like, look at all this texture. Like, it. I don't know. Like, you. Like, I know I have texture skin, but this is just really like, girl, you look rough. Like, I look rough. Okay, tell me down below what are your thoughts on the foundation? Have you purchased this? Si ustedes trataron esta base, déjenme saber tu experiencia con la base. If you've tried this, let me know how's, how's this foundation work for you. For me, I'm going I'm to save my coins. Well, I'm going to help y'all save your coins. And I'm going to let you know right now, eh, no gaten su cuarto, okay? Salven su chelito, porque esta base, mi amor, eh, no vale la pena. I love you guys y lo ven en el próximo video. Mua. Adios.